my very warm wishes to all of you. And whilst it's lovely to be able to join you virtually like this, I'm so disappointed not to be able to um, join you in real time at the meeting. My name's Susan Sawyer. Um, in addition to being a very long-standing member of SAM, I happen to be president of the International Association for Adolescent Health and I'm based in Melbourne, Australia, hence my inability to join you um, even virtually given the time difference. However, the beauty of having a global council is that um, you're in very good hands with John Klein, who's our North American Vice President, who is hosting this session supported very capably by um, many members of our council who are in a more decent time zone. And I know that Nikki Gray, our European Vice President, uh, Ashley Pemberton, our Caribbean Vice President, and also um, Mari Carmen uh, del Calle de Villa from um, our Latin American Vice President uh, will be joining you um, for this session together with um, a number of our young professional network leads, particularly uh, Jason Nagata and Sophie Remoye Gonzalez. So this is a really important time globally for adolescent health. I think, you know, with the COVID pandemic, not only in high income countries are we appreciating that, but I think increasingly penny is dropping everywhere across the world. So I don't think there could be a more important time. And IAAH as an organisation, I think is interesting to reflect upon in terms of our role. We were formed uh, nearly 35 years ago, and I've often said we were formed ahead of our time, well before many countries appreciated the significance of the health of young people for their particular country. Our activities and initiatives are really focused on the 10 to 24 year old age group globally, really trying to um, support initiatives to catalyze connections locally, uh, nationally, regionally, and globally in support of adolescent health. One of the ways we do that is very much by trying to amplify the voices of other organisations in the field. And SAM is one of uh, the very important organisations that we work closely with uh, to achieve that. And we're always incredibly grateful of the opportunity at the SAM meeting uh, by sharing some updates of what the um, IAAH has been about in the last 12 months and what we're heading into uh, in the next 12 months. Um, we are particularly focused on supporting the expansion of the network of national associations for adolescent health, recognising that there are still remarkably few of these. A young professionals network that you'll be hearing about a little later on is therefore incredibly important, particularly in those countries that don't have local networks for training purposes, for connections with research, that don't have leaders in the field of adolescent health that can support and nurture the careers of young professionals, which we see very much as the role of that young professionals network. And we are also very active with running a World Congress that many of you will have been to past World Congresses. Our most recent one was uh, in Delhi, uh, India in um, 2017, hugely successful and a very vibrant meeting. And I'm certainly very much hoping to catch up with uh, a number of you um, in Peru later this year in November when we will be hosting our hybrid meeting there. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I might make it there in person, uh, but if not, certainly we will be uh, meeting with you many, uh, many of you virtually. Now I'm just going to share my screen um, and... Um, to share this um, screenshot of our council. Quite a few of us, the top line is the executive, so that consists in addition to myself is Bruce Dick from Switzerland as our past president, uh, Mira Bahari from Texas as our very capable treasurer secretary, um, Pierre Portelier, who's recently joined us as an assistant treasurer from um, Montreal, Canada, and a number of you will recognise Jenna Baumgartner on the top right, who's our executive administrator, who's based in um, Minnesota. The next two rows are made up of our uh, vice presidents. I've already mentioned some of those that you'll be meeting today, so I'm not going to repeat those, but I would like to introduce um, Shuntaro Ando, um, who's our South um, East Asia 
sorry, our East Asia Vice President uh, from Tokyo, Japan, uh, Mamdu Wabo, who is our Vice President for the Middle East and North Africa. Um, again, the familiar faces that you know so well with Nikki and John and Jenny and Michelle Farmer on the far right of the third line. Some of you may have met uh, Harish Pembe, who's our Vice President uh, for South Asia from India. Um, I don't think many of you will know Adesagan Fatusi from Nigeria, who's our Sub-Saharan Africa Vice President, a very vibrant uh, academic, um, now Vice Chancellor of um, University in Nigeria, um, very active in the field of sexual and reproductive health. And I'd particularly like to um, welcome uh, Risa Turetsky, uh, who's recently joined our council, who again, many of you in, in SAM will know for her various activities in SAM, um, uh, who's based in Colorado, uh, who's recently joined us um, as uh, co-chair of our education committee. And then we have our three um, young co-leads of our Young Professionals Network, Jason, um, Sophie uh, Remway gonzalez and Natalie Yap. Yeah. The reason to put up these faces is to really signal that um, who they are and to encourage you to reach out to them, connect with them, to share the sorts of activities that you think would be valuable for them to know about so that we can promote your work. Um, but we will be holding council elections at the end of this year. And so for those of you who might be interested in stepping up to a broader role, I would encourage you firstly to reach out to your regional vice president but if not to them, feel free to reach out to me directly at any time. Um, this, uh, our email addresses will all be provided in the resources list. And also feel free to reach out, reach out to Jenna Baumgartner. Uh, we'd be very pleased to um, support your considering what would be involved in joining the council. But if not the council, to think about um, contribution to any of our committees or even just as a member of IAAH. On that note, I shall hand back uh, to John Klein and the rest of the group um, and just again share my disappointment at not being able to be with you in person. But I really hope we all have a fabulous meeting um, this year at SAM. So my very best wishes to you all. Um, see you wherever that might be, globally, virtually, in the future. Bye. <laughs>